Um, could you do a blood pressure for me, please? Okay. Capillary, Capillary fill is less than two seconds. Okay. And the pulse? Pulse is uh, 92. Okay. And regular. Um, I'd like to put in sorry, two large bore cannulae into the anticubital fossae. And from those, I'd like to take FBC, uh, sorry, bloods for FBC, cross match, clotting, using these LFTs and amylase. Um, is the BP back? BP's come back as uh, 110 over 70. Okay, well, I'm comfortable that he's hemodynamically stable, so I'd like to run warmed saline for each of them just to keep them patent. Okay. Okay, and just taking a look at him, is there any obvious source of uh, bleeding? Um, as I mentioned on the left thigh, there's some, uh, there's some bleeding and on further exposure, you notice that there's um, uh, low pressure, non-pulsatile bleeding from a wound to the left thigh. Okay. Well then, I'd like to apply a uh, pressure dressing on there. Okay. okay. That appears to be controlling the bleeding. Okay. Assessment of his limbs, you find no deformity or uh, abnorm abnormal swelling. Okay. Um, I've examined the chest, so I'm comfortable that that's all right. And examining the abdomen. Abdomen soft. Okay. No obvious distension. Is there any bruising? There's no obvious bruising around the abdomen okay. or around the uh, perineum. Okay. Well, I'd like to order a chest x ray as well and a pelvic x ray. And I'd also consider a fast scan to look for any internal bleeding. Okay. okay. The trauma team's on their way and they'll be able to sort out the fast scan for you. The chest x-ray and pelvic x-ray are going to happen. Okay. Um, well, then I'd just like to reassess AB again okay. before moving on to There's the been no change in terms of his observations um, since the, the last time you checked. His mask is fogging, the bag's moving, his chest is, is moving bilaterally, although slightly reduced on the right side. The chest drain isn't available for you yet. Okay. Um, then I'd like to move on to D. Could you take a BM for me, please? Excellent. Mr. Johnson, can you hear me? Still no response. Okay. I'm applying suprapubic, supraorbital pressure. It's a bit of a twitch in his left upper limb. Okay. Um, well, he's responding to pain, but not voice. So I suspect he's got a, a low GCS and his airway might be compromised. Is the anaesthetist on the way? The anaesthetist isn't here yet. Okay. Um, and is there a pen torch? Okay. His right, his right pupil is not responding to, the, to light and appears dilated. Okay. Um, I'd consider a CT scan of the head and I'd like to involve the neurosurgeons as well. Okay. okay. And what was the glucose? The glucose is five. Okay. That's all right. Um, and just reassessing before moving on to exposure. Okay. Nothing else appears to have changed. Okay. Could you take the patient's temperature for me, please? Um, I'd like to remove any wet clothes and cover the patient with blankets. Okay. The temperature is 36. Okay, he's hypothermic, so I'd like to consider uh, a bear hugger as well to keep him okay. warm and continue the warm fluids. Okay. Excellent. And is help on its way? I think I can hear them coming round the corner. Thank okay. you very much.